Premium sports cars, gorgeous supercars, and groundbreaking hypercars are all associated with Ferrari. The Ferrari SF90 continues this tradition while demonstrating that the prancing horse is also capable of adapting to the times. It is a monster. However, rare automobiles like these aren't mass-produced. The Italian car maker frequently imposes a cap on model output. How many SF90 replicas will be created then? The SF90 Spider, the Prancing Horse's first production plug-in hybrid Spider, establishes new standards for performance and innovation across the whole sports car market as well as for the spectrum of the company. The latest version of Ferrari's renowned retractable hard top construction gives the new convertible even more driving pleasure and adaptability while maintaining the exact extreme supercar specifications and record-breaking performance as the SF90 Stradale. Because of this, the SF90 Spider is the perfect vehicle for owners who seek the most advanced Ferrari technology. While also enjoying the excitement and adaptability of open-top driving, the first production plug-in hybrid Spider on the prancing horse. The SF90 Spider establishes new standards for performance and innovation for the brand's lineup and the whole sports car market. The latest version of Ferrari's renowned retractable hard-top construction gives the new convertible even more driving pleasure and adaptability while maintaining the exact extreme supercar specifications and record-breaking performance as the SF90 Stradale. Because of this, the SF90 Spider is the perfect vehicle for owners who seek the most advanced Ferrari technology while also enjoying the excitement and adaptability of open-top driving. Is it hybrid engineered performance? When most drivers hear hybrid, they still picture a slow, fuel-efficient vehicle that will cost them less to travel in. Electric motors, which produce torque at zero RPM, were seen by Ferrari as a potential source of acceleration. The hybrid drivetrain of the Ferrari SF90 is built around a 4.0-liter twin-turbo 90-degree V8 with 769 horsepower and three electric motors, generating 217 HP. The dual-turbo V8 and three electric motors work together to produce a record-breaking 986 horsepower or a precise 1,000 cheval vapor. The third electric motor is located between the engine and transmission, and the other two are mounted on the front axle. Will it be sports-oriented specification? SF90 Spider Assetto Fiorano, or the basic SF90 Spider, is now available to Ferrari drivers as options for the first time. Assetto Fiorano comes equipped with a number of unique features, such as multi-matic shock absorbers taken from GT competitions and designed for top performance on the track, a carbon fiber and titanium body that reduces the weight of the SF90 Spider by 21 kilograms, a two-tone Michelin Pilot Sports Cup two tires, and more. The plug-in hybrid architecture of the SF90 Spider combines an internal combustion engine with two electric motors up front, which makes up the race. Cornering angle regulator, electric system, and one at the back that was inspired by and bore the name of a prancing horse Formula One invention, the MGUK, motor generator unit Kinetic. The SF90 Spider is at the top of both its category and the Maranello line thanks to the combination of the internal combustion engine and electric motors, which may produce up to 1,000 CVS. This supercar is distinctive since it is the first plug-in hybrid to be produced by Ferrari, but the SF90 still offers what car and driver call crazy performance, whether it's a Stradale Coupe or Spider convertible. Additionally, it has cutting-edge design elements such as an EV-only mode that enables the SF90 to go up to 17 miles at 80 miles per hour using only the front-mounted motors. It's actually the first front-wheel drive vehicle that Ferrari has ever made. The Ferrari SF90 screams on concrete, reaching 0 to 60 miles per hour in a jaw-dropping two seconds. You would not expect a PHEV to have supercar power. The twin-turbocharged V8 engine alone generates 590 pound-feet of torque and 768.9 horsepower. However, the 3.0 electric motors and 7.9 kWh lithium-ion battery increase the total to 986 horsepower. The Ferrari SF90 also doesn't skim on comfort. The interior is fully customizable and has luxurious leather, high-quality accents, and a ton of bells and whistles. With its extravagant interior and astounding handling and performance, the car's estimated $600,000 price seems fair. Some of Ferrari's road cars, like the La Ferrari, of which only 499 were made, have manufacturing limits. However, the car maker hasn't said how many SF90s will leave the assembly line. The SF90, on the other hand, isn't restricted to a small group of purchasers like the La Ferrari is. It's a vehicle made in a series that is meant for regular use. You can therefore buy an SF90 if you have the money and the willingness to wait for up to a year or more for the Maranello plant to manufacture it. Even if Ferrari hasn't disclosed how many examples it will produce. Despite the pandemic's impact on the car industry's irrationality, Ferrari reported record 2021 revenue. 
According to Autocar, the company supplied an amazing 2,750 vehicles in the third quarter alone. That is a rise of 11.2% from 2018 and nearly 19% from 2020. The Italian automaker has delivered 8,206 vehicles so far this year, contributing to 30% growth rate and 79% increase in net profit. Therefore, the pandemic hasn't put the brakes on these incredibly sought-after vehicles. Additionally, the Ferrari SF90 expands the brand's lineup of supercars. It has all the characteristics that Ferrari fans demand, including a powerful performance with an exhilarating twist. Even though the corporation hasn't said it will limit the number of instances, very few people can afford a car that costs half a million dollars. There are hardly any automakers that can compete with Ferrari in the area of ultra-high performance sport vehicle marquees. The firm is a behemoth in the auto sector and continues to define what it means to build the most brutal sports cars. One of the marquee's most recent hits is the Ferrari SF90 Spider. Ferrari's car feature design elements that make them so distinctively different on the track and on streets throughout the world. Notably, Sebastian Vettel was the driver of Ferrari's legendary Formula One car in 2019, which shares his moniker with the SF90 Spider and Stradale. The Spider is an open-top model, which is the fundamental distinction between it and the Stradale. In actuality, Ferrari's first convertible hybrid car is the SF90 Spider. The Ferrari SF90 Spider is a fantastic car that goes above and beyond the typical convertible. Not only is the automobile faster than you'd expect, but its design also makes it possible for it to continue setting records for years to come. The fact that the SF90 is an EV underlines the industry's approaching transition to an electric powertrain and serves as a superb illustration of the raw power that Ferrari automobiles have been producing for decades. Ferrari is well known for building some of the quickest vehicles ever seen on both racetracks and the open road. The company achieves this not just by giving its cars extremely strong engines, but also by enhancing the unique qualities that have always distinguished Ferrari vehicles. The objective is to boost speeds while doing so in a manner that has never been done before with each new model. The Ferrari SF90 Spider has a 4.0 liter V8 engine under the hood to do this. The SF90 Spider additionally has three electric motors, one in the back and two in the front, to work in tandem with the vehicle's internal combustion engine. Ferrari claims that this results in a maximum combined output of nearly 1,000 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. This ride not only boasts incredible power, but it also travels at record-breaking speeds. The highest speed of the Ferrari SF90 Spider is 211 miles per hour. In terms of acceleration, the car needs just 2.5 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. These heart-stopping speeds make for one of Ferrari's fastest rides ever, which is impressive given the brand's reputation for speed. Drivers may also easily feel the quick breeze in their hair as they speed through the road thanks to the powertrain of this automobile and its open-top design. Finding novel ways to make cars safer is one strategy to improve vehicles capable of traveling at high speeds. The steering wheel is one way Ferrari has accomplished this with the SF90 Spider. To aid drivers in keeping their attention on the road, this innovative wheel has a touch display. Notably, this extremely advanced car can be controlled in practically every way via the touchpad on the steering wheel. This does not make driving easier for the motorist, but it also allows them to maintain their focus on the road. Although generally safe, alternative vehicle infotainment systems can always be considered to be. In the same vein, the touchpad previously described operates the curving 16-inch display in the center instrument cluster, which is likewise entirely digital. It's understandable why the company considers this vehicle a technical revolution. Most people might require some time to get used to the vehicle's technology, but after some time, buyers will realize that this is actually a work of art that meets all their needs.